Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you this Kim Tae inspired makeup, a naturally glamorous makeup look which is focused on a fresh face, simple clean look, um, but it's also classy and sophisticated at the same time. This is the kind of makeup that a lot of Korean celebrities tend to sport a lot, especially when they go to special events or red carpet and they don't want to look like they've put on a whole lot of makeup, especially dark eyeshadows, which can be a little bit too obvious at times. So yeah, this has been one of my most highly requested makeup tutorials of all time and I'm glad that I can finally get this up for you guys and I really hope that it's helpful for you in some way. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting with a clean face, we're going to start with primer and I'm going to be using my NARS Oil Free Pro Prime. And next to mimic Kim Tae's glowing pearl white skin, we're going to go in with a white frost base underneath our foundation so that it looks like our skin is glowing from within. I'm going to be using MAC Luna which is one of my favourite illuminating bases. So just applying it to the cheeks, the nose, the forehead and the chin. Also taking it around the sides of the mouth. I'm going to go back in a little bit more into the cheeks and make that upside down triangle underneath the eye area to illuminate that zone on the face. So as you can see, my skin looks whiter already and once we go over it with foundation, it's going to look really, really natural. So I'm going to go in with my NARS She Glow, which is my ultimate favourite foundation these days. So using my finger, I'm going to dot it all over my face. I'm going to concentrate it along my cheeks where I have the most pigmentation and underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to blend it out with my Sigma foundation brush. Making sure to stroke downwards and in the direction of the hair. And blend it into the hairline as well. And blend it down along the jawline. Next it's time for the brows. I've already plucked underneath to make it straight, but on top I've just got to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to go in with this eyebrow razor which will help me achieve that clean look at the top. So keeping that nice straight line at the top, we're going to look down and straight ahead at the mirror and get rid of any unwanted hairs. Just going to clean up that area a little bit. So I'm just going to ignore for a moment that my hair's brown because this is a Kim Tae inspired look. So we're going to go in with a soft grey eyebrow powder and fill in the sparse areas of the brows, making it as straight as possible. So starting from the middle bottom, take it out in a straight line, then gradually fill in towards the top and bring it towards the front. Taking a little bit more in the brush, tap off the excess and then go back in and take it in slowly towards the front making sure to stroke it in the direction of your hair. Sorry about Cooper making weird noises. Now it's really important that you try to use one of these very very soft brushes and I advise synthetic brushes to do your eyebrows if you want to really achieve a soft blended look. Just going back over and bring it in a little bit towards the front so that it's in line with the edge of your nose. As you can see, I'm sort of crisscrossing my brows. So I'm going outwards towards my ear, then I'm going to take it upwards towards my hair. And this is just going to make sure that this has really blended the areas in really well. My eyebrows are naturally a little bit uneven, so I'm going to try my best to make it even. But if you've also got uneven eyebrows like me, just try your best to make it as symmetrical as possible. So now brush out the brows and make sure that there are no harsh edges. And now if you have a clear brow gel, use this to comb your hairs into place to give you that complete groomed look. And if you have any dark circles like I do underneath the eyes, go in with a concealer in a very light application. I'm just going to take my ring finger and slowly pat it in. Then apply a little bit of primer on your eyelids. We won't be putting on a lot of eyeshadows, but it's important that the little that we do put on will stay on all day. So now taking a little bit more of that MAC Luna, I'm going to take a little bit on my ring finger again and go in as a light wash all over the eyelid. So 
So dabbing it on the middle of the eyelid, then going into the inner corner and blending out. Now we're going to set that cream base with a light wash of eyeshadow. Use a fluffy brush like this so that you won't take too much product and it won't be cakey. So taking a little bit of the highlight powder, we're going to tap off the excess and sweep it all over the eyelid. Then on a really small and flat eyeshadow brush, take a bronzy shimmery shade. And what we're going to do is focus it as close to the lash line as possible and avoid taking it up too much. If you have a crease, don't bring it higher than the crease. Keep it as close to the lash line as possible and also don't wing it out at the end. And now it's time to go in with Invisible Liner, which is basically when you go in with an eyeliner to fill in the top lashes as well as the upper waterline so that you can't actually see the eyeliner visibly. So taking my Sigma E11 brush, which is the thinnest eyeliner brush that I have, I'm going to take a little bit of this Vanilla Co Black Gel Liner and go in to fill my upper waterline as well as tight line between my lashes. So it helps if you use your finger to hold your lashes and pull your eye. Then I'm going to go in and just dot between my lashes. then connect that line together as close to the lash line as possible. And at the end, we're gonna wing it out a tiny little bit, but don't use more product for this. Just use what's left over on your brush. So if you have something that's similar to this color, a champagne shimmery color, we're gonna place it along the bottom of the eyes, which is going to subtly highlight the eyes as well as add a glamorous effect. So taking a little bit from the lid using my Sigma E30, like just along the bottom of the eyes. This is really the key to celebrity makeup in Korea. Using products really effectively and making it look like you haven't really put that much effort into it, but looking glamorous at the same time. So now we're gonna curl our lashes. Then go in with a coat of mascara. Keep the coat as clean and unclumped as possible. So now that we're done with our eyes, we're going to zoom out and finish the rest of our face. Now since this is a natural glamorous look, we need to keep our face as dewy as possible, um, as close to real skin as possible. So naturally we need to keep our powdering to a minimum, so using a little bit of loose powder and a large fluffy brush, um, we're just going to sweep it all over our face. We're taking just a little bit, tap off the excess, and lightly dust it over the face. Now, Korean celebrities don't really put a lot of blush and contouring on either. So we're just going to pick up a little bit of light pink blush and dust it over the apples of our cheeks. Blend it out a little bit and it should be as subtle as that and we're done with our blush and contour. So it's time for lipstick. And this is my favorite peri-peri lipstick. It's the Wonder of Lips lipstick in number seven, Spring Pink. Then to set the lipstick, take a piece of tissue, peel it into the thinnest layer possible, and just press it over the lips. Then we're going to apply a bit of lip gloss, and this is my Peri Pera Wonder Kiss Gloss in number 32, Snowy Violet. Then we're going to finish the look with some Shimmer Mist. And that's it guys, here is the completed look inspired by Kim tae -hee. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you would like some more celebrity inspired or natural makeup looks. I'll leave a list of all the products that I've used in this tutorial on my blog, michemiz.com, so check that out. If you'd like to suggest any more celebrity inspired makeup looks, feel free to leave it down below in a comment and I'll make sure to check out your requests and see which one I want to do next. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.